thank you for your cooperation. It's going to start in about five minutes. Got two more minutes to view. Two more minutes to view. Thank you for your cooperation with our protocols in the church. Mass on at all times. Thank you. Thank you. Let's pray for this mother, this family. The Lord will help us get through this. Help you get through it. But I thank you for your cooperation. Solo mic. Do we have a solo mic up here? Jamarcus' mother is going to do the first solo. Special guest is going to do the second solo. And our musician, Brother Will Stinson, is going to do the third solo. Jamarcus' mother will do the first solo. Our second soloist, can we identify her? Our second soloist. I know the mom is going to do the first. And we have someone else that's going to do the second solo. Any resolutions? Sister Caldwell will do those. So any resolutions, pass them to the front, please. The Lord will get us through this. He will get you through it. We just need a praying church. Just need a praying church. Last minute to come and view. And they will start their procedure. Last minute to view. Will you come now at this time? I want to thank Corn's Funeral Home for doing such a good job with his family. Let's thank... God for calling Trin Hall for doing such a good job with this family. Amen. I've heard they really helped this family. Thank you. bless you God bless you is Will I got is on the way Will on the way Will 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 there you go okay double check double double check excuse me my test my test Mic test, mic test, mic test. Testing one, two. Mic test. Those who's going to be singing the solo, you can sing right from this red mic right here.
we will be streaming. And we're going to start that in about one minute. We will be streaming for those who cannot make the services. And you can always go back to the Greater St. Matthews website for those who want to view later the service from the church. So if someone's not here that you know of, you can let them know. Text them, whatever, that we will be streaming this right at 12. And those that's going to be speaking for the Old Testament, New Testament, Brother Anthony Mack, are you here? Raise your hand. He's going to speak right from that mic. Uh, New Testament, Peter Daniels, right from this mic also, and Pastor Smith, right from this mic, so you won't have to walk all the way up, just walk right there for the New and Old Testament and the prayer. And mom, and mom, if you don't want to come all the way up here, you can just, you can come right up here from the musician. Okay. Brother Will Stinson here.
Come on, put your hands together for Jamarcus. Come on, y'all. We are here not just so much to mourn a death, but to celebrate a life. Come on, one more time for this mom. We want to encourage her, this family. We greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the one who has kept all of us from falling. Amen. We know that God is too wise to ever make a mistake, too loving to let us bear our burdens alone. So those who are in service, those who are watching virtually, we thank you for your presence. And we're going to abide by the printed program. Um, this first solo music selection, I'm going to call the mother up in just a few minutes. Amen. You can come on up and get with the uh, musician, mom. Amen, and uh, come on. Let's thank God for her strength, y'all. Amen. Rep Peters, you don't mind helping her? Amen. Amen. God bless you. Come on. Let's thank God for her strength, one, having to do this. Amen. That red, you're gonna use that red mic there. Amen. And right after the solo, we're going to have our Old and New Testament, Anthony Mack. Is going to do our Old Testament, and Brother Peter Daniels is going to do our New Testament right over here to my right. Amen. And you can take your mask off when you're reading, and Pastor Melvin Smith is going to do our prayer. And then we have a second solo, and then after that solo, resolutions. And then the family has particular individuals three individuals that's going to speak, three family members, you know who you are, I will come back up doing the expressions. So right now, let's thank God for the strength of this mother. Come on, let's, let's put your hands together as they come. I've had some good days. Bless you. I've had some heels, heels to climb. I've had some weary days. And some sleepless nights. But when I, when I look around and I think things over, all of my good days, somehow they outweigh my bad days. I, I won't complain. Sometimes, like right this very minute, the clouds hang low. I can hardly see, see the road. I ask the question, Lord, Lord, why, why so much pain? But he knows what's best for me. Although my weary eyes, they can't see. So I'll just say, thank you, Lord. I, I won't complain. There will be mountains that I will have to climb and there will be battles that I will have to fight but victory or defeat it's up to us to decide but how can we expect to win if we never Try. We just can't give up now. Oh, 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 we've gone too far. 
from where we started from. Nobody told us that the road would be easy, and I don't believe he's brought us this far to leave us. He never said there wouldn't be trials. He never said we were far. He never said that everything would go the way we wanted to go. But when our back is against the wall and we feel our hope is gone, we have to lift our head up to the sky and say help us to be strong oh 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 y'all come on y'all give it up for this mother give it up for this mom I don't believe anybody don't believe this mother don't believe that the Lord will bring her this far just to leave her now amen come on one more time everybody God bless your strength God bless your strength Amen. One more time for this mom, y'all. Come on. It took a lot of strength to do that. Will you stand for our Old and New Testament? Brother Anthony Mack, Old Testament. Peter Daniels, will you come over here right behind him? And, and Pastor Melvin Smith, will you come right behind him in that order? You can, I want you to stand for the Old and New Testament. The immediate family don't have to stand. The immediate family can sit. Immediate family can sit. Everybody else can stand, except for the immediate family. You can sit, amen, for our Old and New Testament, and then you, everybody can be seated during the prayer at this time. Let's thank our brother Anthony and Peter. Come on, show them some love, y'all, as they come. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Um, for your consideration, I'm going to read Psalms 121. It says, I will lift up my eyes to the hills, from whence cometh my help. My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. He will not allow your foot to be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, 
He who keeps Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. He shall preserve your soul. The Lord shall preserve your going out yes. and your coming in yes. from this time forth and even forevermore. I've just read the entire 100 number 21 songs. Amen. Come on, let's thank Brother Mac for our Old Testament. Amen. And as we wipe it off the mic, Brother Peter Daniels is going to come for our New Testament. Amen. Remain standing except for the media family for our New Testament. Good afternoon, Saints. Bless you. I'm going to be reading from Philippians chapter 4, verses 4 through 9. It says, Rejoice in the Lord always, and I will say it again, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious for anything, but in every situation, by prayer and yes. petition, with thanksgiving, yes. present your request to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard yes. your hearts and your minds yes. in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, yes. whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, yes. whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Whatever, whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, put it into practice, and the God of peace will be with you. Amen. Amen. Come on, let's thank Brother Daniels. God bless you. You may be seated. Pastor Smith will give us our prayer. Thank you, Lord. Let us look to the Lord in prayer. Father, we thank you right now. Yes, sir. That you're an awesome God. Yes, sir. And you're worthy to be praised. Thank you, Father, that you are the God of all comfort. And we thank you, Father, that you will comfort the hearts of the family and friends here today. We thank you, Lord, that your presence will remain in this sanctuary. We thank you, Father, that you will watch over everything that transpires today. That you will get the glory in everything that's said and done. May your presence engulf this sanctuary. May you comfort the hearts of the family and friends. Thank you that your word declares that you are our peace. Yes, yes. And because you are our peace, Lord, we thank you that you release your peace in the hearts of all of us today. Yes. That will strengthen us, Lord. Give us the courage to continue on, Lord. And our Father, I pray for the family and the friends. Thank you for the life of Jim Marcus, oh God. Yes. How that you shared him with us for 26 years. And we thank you, Lord that you will cause the memories, all of the memories of the family and the friends over the years, Lord, when times of trial and testing come, that we'll revert back to the precious memories yes. and all of the precious moments of love and hugs and joy and peace and all of the good times that you allowed the family to share with them. So, Father, we thank you right now as we place this service in your hands, your trust, your care, and your protection. May you breathe upon us your mighty power that will strengthen us spiritually and physically. So, yes. Father, we commit this entire service into your hands, and to you belongs all of the glory, all the honor, and all of the praise. In yes. Jesus' name, Jesus amen, name. And amen. 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 Come on, let's put your hands together. Pat, thank you, Pastor Smith. Thank you, Peter Daniels. Thank you, Anthony Mack. And at this time, our second soloist will come. Amen. God bless you. Show her some love as she come, y'all. Bless you. And to this family, to my big sister, I love you. And I want you to know we serve a God of not a second chance, but another chance. If yeah. It's just before God gave you another chance. I don't know. 
Put your hands together, y'all. Many things about tomorrow. We don't seem to understand. But one thing we do know, we do know who hold our hand. Come on, let's thank our sister. God bless you. Show her some more love. Thank you for your cooperation. These services are not easy services, but we want to try to lighten your load as much as possible. So at this time, we're going to have our resolution to come. Now, Jamarcus passed through Greater St. Matthews at a very young age, came to everything, choir rehearsal, Awanas, Usher Board, him and his sister, I mean, I mean, they were all over the church. You Jubilee, and I'm missing one, Sister Grant. I probably missed a few. But he was introduced to Jesus at an early age. Isn't that good news? Amen, isn't that good news? The Lord knew that this time would come, and, and he, not by accident, not by coincidence, but by divine providence, uh, fixed it. So Jamarcus would know that there's only one way to get to heaven. And you can't get there flying those 747. 
that Christ is the only way. So, amen. Show Sister Carwell some love as she comes with the resolutions. To God be the glory for all the things that he has done. Amen. Even in a difficult time like this, Sister Grant and Sister Petrina, he still had deserved all the glory. Yes. Giving honor to God, to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit that seals our redemption, to our pastor, Bless Dr. You. William L. Randall, Bless you. to Reverend Peters, to the officers, members, but especially to this family. I had the pleasure of teaching Jamarcus in Sunday school. He was in my intermediate class. So I know he knew the Lord. Amen. 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 That's good. That's good. The Greater St. Matthew's Baptist Church, Dr. William L. Randall, Jr., Pastor, Resolutions, Saturday, July 9th, in the Lord's 2022. Whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. John 11 and 26. The pastor, officers, and members of Greater St. Matthew's Baptist Church take this opportunity to express our deepest sympathy to the family of Brother Jamarcus Alexander Clements, where his grandparents, Brother Milton and Sister Sherry Grant, are family and other family members are faithful servants of our church family. Amen. Whereas the passing of our beloved family member has left you with a broken heart, we acknowledge and accept the will of God. We know your heart bleeds with sorrow, but knowing that God will not put more on you than you can bear, he will comfort you. Lift up your heads and be strong. God sees and he knows. We are praying for you, and you too must also pray. For time and prayer will bring you relief. May God bless you and give you strength and courage is our prayer. The outward smile. We saw the outward smile, but your inner pain we didn't see. We pray your anguish will now forever cease and be replaced with peace. We, in truth, will remember the good times, not the bad. Amen. We remember when you smiled at us and not when you were sad. So when we think about your life, we won't dwell upon the clothes. We'll remember all the happiness. Yes. The joy and not the tears. The assurance and confidence. So now we leave in your memory in God's all loving care. Yes. Humbly and proudly submitted, the Greater St. Matthew's Baptist Church, Dr. William L. Render, Jr. Pastor. Amen. We like to acknowledge that there is a uh, resolution from the senior saints of the Greater St. Matthew's Baptist Church, Dr. Jean, I mean, do Director. Mm. I was giving her Dr. too. Mm. <laughs> Director, Sister Jean Jenkins. Amen. We also would like to acknowledge the New Beginning Ministry, 12802 Farm Road 3436, Dickinson, Texas, uh, from the uh, Chief Apostle Bobby Miller. Amen. May God bless you. May he keep you is our prayer. Amen. Come on, let's thank Sister Carwell for those resolutions. If there be any other resolutions, make sure you pass them up to the front. Uh, just like Jamarcus, uh, his grandmother, Sister Grant, and Milton, they all over the church too. Uh, and so no wonder, you know, um, uh, Jamarcus and his uh, uh, sister and Amen and everybody and Sister Grant. You can't be in Sister Grant's family and not know the Lord. Amen. 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 She'll, she'll drag you into it. Amen. That's the way she is. But we love the Grant family and certainly we love Jamarcus and 
the Lord loved them best. And so at this time, we have three family members that's going to come. Hey, man, if you come over here to my left, those individuals are going to get up and go sit right on that first pew. So I know who you are. There's one. We have two others. Any? All right, Sister Grant, you're coming? All right. I got it. Okay, that's. Okay, is that? Okay, we got two. That's three. All right, come on, show them some love. You can sit right on that. The other two can sit right down there. Okay, we, they, the program says three. We got three. Amen. No, no four or five hopping up. So at this time, amen, show them some love as they come. Come on. First of all, I want to uh, thank everybody, family and friends, uh, for coming out uh, to see my nephew off. Uh, we know that that's just the shell. It's his spirit left the day that he left us, but um, this is this how we this is how we celebrate now. Here, man. Right? Um, man, I'm a I'm at a loss for words. Um, that was my nephew, but more like a a son to me. Um, we shared so many uh, memories over the years, um, but you know, I I I I, I had the opportunity to to talk with him before he transitioned. And I, I look for Jesus in every situation. Every situation I'm trying to figure out, Lord, what are you saying? You know, what, what you want me to do with this? What you, what you want us to do with this? And um, Father was telling me like, you know, I, I can get up here and, and talk to y'all about Jamarcus, but enough to me said already, we knew that he knew the Lord, but I just want to ask y'all, do y'all know him? Like, do y'all know him? Like, my nephew, man, he was a lot like me, right? Um, I noticed from a young age, like, he gave what he needed. He gave to people what he was looking for in people, right? So he was constantly encouraging. He was constantly uplifting. He was constantly giving compliments. He was constantly trying to bring joy to people's life because that's what he seeked, right? And, uh... Man, I, I, living in this world, like, I, I come to, to realize and understand, like, we don't always get what we need from people, right? But we got a father who give us everything we need. And so, like, when you don't get validation from mom or dad or a grandma and grandpa or a sister and brother or auntie and uncle or whoever's in your circle, like, we have a father that validates us, right? And... Man, I, I just want to encourage y'all. Like, man, I, I, one thing that Jamarcus, his life was, our, our lives should be testimonies. Yeah. Like, we should live in such a way that it's a testimony to others. Yeah. So, like, even seeing my nephew's body right there, like, I'm, I'm thinking about, like, how God spoke to him, how God spoke to me. And, and, and one conversation that I had with Jamarcus when he was about 15 years old changed my life. He had, he had moved away. He had stayed with us for a while. And he moved away. And he was in Houston with his dad. And he came to visit. And um, so we were checking in with him. You know, how's it going? High school, you know, this and that. Who you hanging with? And he was telling my wife about this older gentleman that had introduced him to smoking marijuana. Who had introduced him to some other. Like, we got to be real, right? We got to be real. And so this guy had introduced him to all these things, and my wife was saying, Jamarcus, but you know better. And he was saying, well, I spent time with this guy. He, he, he teach me this, and he teach me that. And so I was sitting there listening, and I was furious with him. Yeah. And so finally I said, boy, what's your problem? You, you, like your aunt said, you know better. And Jamarcus looked me in my eyes, and he told me, but he take the time to pour into me. Where you been? And it crushed me. It, 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 I carry it to this day. And, I, and God just showed me, like, we sit here in the church. We sit as family members. But are we taking the time to pour into our loved ones the correct things? And then we had a nerve to get mad when somebody else giving them incorrect things. And so when he told me that, like, the God, Lord spoke to me and said, prove you exist. Like, you exist for more than dressing up, looking cute. Yeah. You exist for more than what you drive. You exist for more than where you work. Prove you exist. Yeah. Yeah. So when these babies getting misinformed, yeah. you will know that you was, you was doing what you was supposed to do, right? 
man, and, and I love my nephew. I, I, <laughs> I, I man, I he, we we had so many good times, but that was one of the most pivotal moments in my life when he told me where were you, and I just thought like, man, I was too busy doing whatever. Instead of being accountable for the ones. And so I just want to encourage y'all, like, be accountable. Be, it's, it's people that's waiting on you. The, the question that I've been getting for the past three weeks from everybody who asked me about my nephew is, how you doing, how you doing, how you doing? And I've been being real. I ain't been saying I'm all right. I've been telling them I'm mad. And I ain't mad because of that because the Lord is the author and the finisher. But I'm mad because we playing around thinking we got time. I'm mad thinking that we sitting around playing games and we not, we, we born with purpose. And we thinking we got time. We got an adversary who, who attacking our minds. He attacking our bodies. He attacking our families. And we think we got time. And so I'm, I'm talking to the young and the old here. Get to know the Lord. Get to know the Lord. In the last conversation that we had, my wife Jamarcus was, was, was going through, so I, I'm going to be real, because yeah, yeah. I can't play. Yeah. Jamarcus was having an episode, and my wife asked him, do you know the voice of the Lord? Yeah. And he said at the time he couldn't decipher who was talking to him. Are these demons, or is this my father? Yeah. And I'm begging y'all, get to know him. Yeah. Get to know him so when things get to speaking to you yeah. that you've been carrying, things get to speaking to you that's weighing you down, you will know who's who. And you can cast it down. The enemy ain't got no victory in this. Like, don't get it twisted. Don't get, don't look at that and get it twisted. He ain't got no victory in this. Because the Lord will take anything in here working for is good. And so if it took that to get some of y'all to where you need to be, then I'm alright with that. And so I just want to encourage y'all, get to know the Father. Get to know that you might not get what you want from this world, but he's going to give you everything you need. First and foremost, I just want to say thank you, everyone, for coming to celebrate my brother's life. Um, I feel like a part of me, you know, just left when he left, because he was my best friend. Everything, you know, everything about my life he knew. But one thing I can say is my brother has always been a giver. Like my uncle said, he's always given what he felt like he could, didn't have or couldn't have. And I just want to say, you know, he's always said, like, you know, bub, you're selfish, you're materialistic, and you care about things that won't even be with us when we're gone. Yeah. And now I see, you know, when God calls you home, all of this earthly stuff, it doesn't matter anymore. It's still here. <laughs> And I love him so much. <laughs> and I just want him to know that I love you and your nephew loves you. God be the glory. For he truly has done great things for me. Pastor, that's my big baby son there. He's the youngest. Yeah, that's my son. For those of you who don't know. <laughs> he know the word. Um, I'm uh, maybe sad in the flesh, but I'm happy in the spirit. Because I know that Jamarca's soul is resting. And the song says, and we're going to do it, it's just a blessing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He's free. And I just told his other big brother that uh, don't cry as there is no hope. Jamarca's 
had a journey. And you know what? For those of us who are truly sad, this did not catch God by surprise. It did us. But it did not catch God by surprise. And one thing I love about my God, my pastor always talk that God has a way of getting your attention, family. And it means if I have to come and get one, I will. And the ones that you think that's going to go is not the one. Because he's leaving you time to get ready. So I want to thank, thank everyone. And of course, those of you who belong to Great Group St. Matthew that knew Jamarcus. And you know what? What did Jamarcus did, Pastor? Somehow or another, he, he, he was slick. He loved to cater to them old women. He ain't mess with them little girls. He catered to them old women where he can get the love, get the hug, and get whatever it is he had to get. And they loved him. They really loved him. And because of this, I want to thank you, Pastor. And then I want to recognize, Pastor, I have another pastor for when I go to Austin. Pastor Melvin is my second pastor and his wife, First Lady. So I call them my pastor, but I let them know that I have another one, but they're my second one. So don't get jealous, Pastor. It's just, I'm just letting you know. But uh, thank you, family and friends. And yes, I am uh, not truly sad. I'm happy. You know, uh, me and Jamarcus had a relationship. I was his gal. I don't know how did that happen, but I was his gal. I dress up, and you know, we got on lime green because uh, when he first stayed, come to stay with us when he was three years old, he come in the house and he loved him some lime green. Yeah, yeah. Everything lime green. Yeah, yeah. And when Granny put on lime green, I thought he thought I was the most beautiful thing that was. It made me feel good. <laughs> Granny, and he told me too. But you know what? He was trying to take the place of his uncle because when he was little, he used to, when I dressed up, I looked pretty to him. <laughs> so I know time is well spent, but I just want to let you all know that my soul is happy too. Yeah, yeah. My soul, because I know if I keep on living the life of Christ that wanted me to live, I'm going to see him one day. Yeah, yeah. And you talk about a celebration. You talking about a celebration. We gonna be with the Father. Yeah. Not with y'all. Yeah. We gonna be with the Father. Yeah. Well, there's gonna be good times. Yeah. No bad times. Yeah. No tears. Yeah. And when you see these tears, these are tears of joy. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And they just a relief yeah. of the way to get the pressure off. I woke up this morning, the old enemy tried to give me a headache. Yeah. He tried to give me a body ache. Yeah. I just couldn't seem to do it. But you know what in the midst of? I call him a lie. Yeah. And I start stepping because I know yeah. who have me. I don't have no headache no more. Yeah. Yeah. I'm feeling good yeah. because I'm here yeah. for my family. And Jamarcus would want his gal yeah. to say something. Yeah. Thank y'all, and I love y'all. Amen. Come on, give it up for the grand family. Man. Now, so Brother Melvin, she was talking about you, huh? Second pastor. Okay. She act like that at your church, too? Hey, Amen. You give her the opportunity. She, she, she will act like that and can. Hey, Amen. Come on, let's thank these three that got up to her son, wonderful job, my brother, sister, God bless you. Amen, and this grandmother. Amen. Yes, Sister Grant, the Lord knew. That's why he got our brother ready and had you all to get him ready a long time ago. It did not catch him by mistake at all. Amen. It catches us by mistake, you know. Uh, but as your son said, um, you know, just like when God told Adam, you know, the day, the day that I sin it, I shall surely die. You know, just like death hurts us, God compared death with sin. You know, if all the things he compared death to, he compared it with sin. And, and just like that death hurts you, that's how sin hurts me. You know, so, um, but you don't have to stay in your sin. 
Amen. Jesus is a good substitute. You give him your sins, he give us eternal life. And despite what one may think towards the end of somebody's life, amen, you cannot identify somebody's life by at the end. Amen. Amen. Look at where they started. Look at the whole life. Amen. And Sister Grant, Brother Grant, y'all taught him well. Amen. The church took good care of him. He knew Jesus. Come on. That's the happy thing about it. And yes, we do need to tell others the story. We do need to tell others the story. The gospel, the euangelion, the, the good news of Jesus Christ. Make no difference who you are, where you are. You know, um, you can be saved in Christ Jesus. And once saved, always saved. Amen. He died for our past, present, and our future sins. Amen. Nothing can separate us from the love of God. Isn't that good news? Isn't that good news? Nothing can separate. Come on, whatever happens in this life, because you know Jesus, it cannot separate us from the love of Jesus Christ. He who suffered his own son, gave up his own son for us, would not he, what, what, what more could he do? Amen. And so we thank God of those who had an impression, because a lot of people could have gotten up, a lot of friends are here, a lot of family, amen, but your presence is saying how much you love this family in Jamarcus. Come on, your presence. So don't get too disturbed that you didn't say a whole lot, amen. I, I say if you love somebody, tell them you love them now. If you care about somebody, tell them you care now. Because when you come to service like these, you're going to cry for one or two reasons. One, some people cry in regret. Because they did not do what they were supposed to do while that person was alive. Or some going to cry just because they're going to miss that person. Do all you can while you can. And then when you come to moments like these, you can hold your head up high. Amen. You hold your head and say, I've done all that I can humanly possible to do. Amen. And I have no regrets. I have no shame. Amen. But, but do, do what you can now so that you won't have those regrets. Amen. Amen. Come on, let's thank God for these three again. At this time, we're going to have a solo amen by our dear brother, Brother Will Stinson here. And then after that solo, we're going to get ready for praise dance. Uh, Harvest Jones, are you here? Amen. All right. Right after, right after the song. Right after the song. Okay. And then we're going to look at Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 6 and 7. You thought I was worth saving So you came and changed my life You thought I was worth keeping So you cleaned me up inside You thought I was to die for So you sacrifice your life so I can be free, so I can be whole, and I can tell everyone I know that you thought I was worth saving, 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 yeah. So you came and you changed my life. You thought I was worth keeping, yeah. So you cleaned me up inside. You thought I was to die for. So you sacrificed your life so I can be free, so I can be whole. And I will tell everyone I know, I'll say hallelujah, hallelujah, glory to the God who changed my life, and I will 
praise him forever. I worship him forever. I give your name glory forever. Because I am free. Because I am whole. And I will tell everyone I know. I am free. Praise the Lord. I'm free, no longer bound, no more chains holding me, my soul is resting, it's just a blessing, hey, praise the Lord, hallelujah. I'm free, yeah, 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 I am free, praise the Lord, I am free, and no longer bound, no more chains holding me, my soul is resting. It's just a blessing. Yeah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm free. The market is free. Praise the Lord. He is, he is free. No longer bound, no more chains, no more chains holding him. His soul, his soul is resting. No more pain, his soul is resting. No more worries, his soul is resting. No more cares. His soul is resting. It's just a blessing. Yeah. So we're going to praise the Lord. We're going to lift our hands and tell God thank you. And praise the Lord. We're going to give him all the praise. And praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He's free. Free. He's free. Come on, show Sister Jones some love as she comes. Hey, Amen. You got them all over. Huh? Hey, Amen. All right. We're going to see the grand end of this.
Come on, y'all. Y'all can do better than that. Harvest Jones. I won't let go, Lord, till you bless me. I won't let go till you change me. Come on, give it one, up one more time for Sister Harvest Jones. Isn't that what Jacob said? Wrestled all night. Got his name changed. Amen. Shall no longer be a trickster. Shall no longer be a sub You're going to be someone great. It should be Israel. Come on, give it up again. Thank you, Sister Jones. God bless you. I see why you needed all that move. Amen. 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 Wonderful, wonderful talent. Wonderful art talent. Thank God for her. Amen. Thank God for all of you and Amen. Let's, let's, let's praise this mother again, this family. It's not an easy moment for none of them and none of us. Amen. But this is something we got to do. We got to encourage and we thank God for our brother meeting Jesus um, at a very early age. That's why you got to train up a child early. Just don't know what's going to happen late in life. These are moments where we just get stuck. Anger. Frustration. Tears. Hurt. Somebody's not going to feel like going to work. Somebody after this is not going to feel like getting up in the morning. Because life is full of stuff that happens. And we get stuck in a place. Don't want to move. Don't want to eat. Don't want to sleep. Because of the trials and the tribulation of life. Especially when it brings us to a point like this. Children of Israel. What should have taken them 11 days. Took them 40 years. They got stuck in a place. And they were so stuck, two million people on average left Egypt. And the Lord said because of their unbelief, when they believed the ten spies, and um, God said that first generation going to die out, he's going to move that second generation into the promised land. And so they were stuck in the wilderness for 40 years. Yeah. Over 2 million that left Egypt, if you're just counting 18 and up, that's the way they counted and count men. 2 million. Divide that by 40, about 50,000. Divide that by 12. Hey Amen. You got about 4,100. Divide that, hey Amen, by 30 about 140 funerals Moses was doing every day. Yeah. And so here's the second generation crying over their mama, crying over their loved one. And they are stuck at Mount Horror, just like we are. Somebody's stuck right now. Yeah. Nothing today move you. Yeah. Harvest Jones didn't move you. What Sister Grant said didn't move you. 
Man, what a son said didn't move you. And you're stuck because of situation, whatever it is. You're just like these people in this text. And if Jamarcus was here, he would tell me, Reverend Randall, tell my mama, don't stay stuck here too long. Tell my grandmama, don't stay stuck here. Reverend Randall, I'm telling you, don't preach too long. And have us stuck here. Deuteronomy 1, 6, 7, 8. The Lord our God spake unto us in horror, saying, You have dwelt long enough at this mount. Turn you and take your journey. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor. Neighbor. Preach going to preach about about moving moving from this mountain. mountain. Moving from this mountain. Death is like a mountain. Well, you find it hard to move. Yeah. Can't get over it. Hard to get around it. Yeah. And you find yourself just stuck yeah. Yeah. at this mountain called death. Go ahead. Go ahead. Forty years, Moses had been burying folk. And so now their family members are Left to cry. Don't even want to go to the promised land. Don't want to move. Until God told Moses to tell these folks it's time to move from this mountain. Jamarcus sent me here today to tell you that it's time to move from this mountain. Three things in this text that helps us to move from our mountain. Revelation, duration, and destination. If there's anything we need to help us to move from the mountain called death, it's God's revelation. We need a word from the Lord. Our mama can say stuff. Our daddy can say stuff. Our uncles can say stuff. Amen. Our pastor can say stuff. Amen. But what's really going to help us move and help the children of Israel move was a word from the Lord. Where do you get that at, Reverend? Amen. It says... The Lord, our God, spake to us yeah. at Mount Horeb. Yeah. Amen. And, and, and when we are at this point, I've been there, a lot of other people have been there, and it's easy to get stuck. My, my mama left here. I, I, I had to do her service. I, I, I was stuck still. I, yeah. My daddy, I got stuck. My brother, yeah. amen, died at... Uh, around Jamarcus' age, a man of cancer. I was, I was stuck for a long time. And I don't care how long you've been in church. I don't care how long you've known Jesus. Amen. When you're in this body of flesh, amen, it's easy for us to get stuck. Amen. Don't look at me like you ain't never got stuck on anger. Amen. 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 You, you, you said in the church, to somebody, God bless you. Yeah. And then next Sunday, God blessed them with a brand new car. Go ahead, go ahead. And now you mad. Uh, yeah. And you done got stuck because of jealousy. Uh, yeah. Envy. Yeah. Amen, amen. Don't, don't act like you so holy. Uh, yeah. Well, you can't get stuck. Yeah. Let your child die. Uh, yeah. Amen. Let something happen to your grandchild. And I don't care how long you've been pastoring. I don't care how long you've been in church. It's easy for the best Christian to get stuck 
especially at this mountain called death. Go ahead, go ahead. Amen, amen. The children of Israel were stuck. And it took a word from the Lord to help them with their stuckness. Yes, yes. Amen, amen. Some of y'all, some of y'all, amen, I know that some stuff happened at your church, your mom and them church, or, or at your house, amen, and, and you were just stuck. You won't admit it. Amen, amen. I know you, that's why you can't say amen too much right now. Amen, because you're stuck. You can't say hallelujah. You can't say praise the Lord. You can't say amen because you just stuck. Amen. You're like the children of Israel, but, 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 I, but, but one thing that you need to understand that can help you, mama, amen, of Jamarcus, amen, family of Jamarcus, amen. You need the same thing Israel had, amen. It says, the word of our God spake to us. We need God to speak to us. Man, y'all, y'all, y'all remember the children of, uh, y'all remember the, 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 the disciples, amen, it was on that boat. Jesus sent them out there. Uh, now, the first time Jesus sent them on the boat, Jesus was with them. Yeah, yeah. You know, Lord, carry not, we perish, amen. The second time, amen, he went on the mountain to pray and sent them, to, amen, amen, a, a, a storm came in the, in the middle of, of the Sea of Galilee, amen, and, and, and they, it, and it said that it was, it was in the fourth watch, yeah. the darkest part of the amen, amen of that watch amen and all of a sudden while they were crying and all of a sudden here comes Jesus yeah, yeah. amen they thought it was a ghost but he said be of good cheer yeah. amen 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 it, it took a word from the Lord yeah. amen to, to, to help them amen with that stuckness and what's going to help you to move amen because I believe that that Jamarcus will want y'all to move from this mountain. And, and in order to do that, you need God's revelation. Go ahead. Amen. You need to hear that God is my light yes. and my salvation. You need, you need to hear, amen, amen, that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. You need to hear that the Lord is my refuge yes. and my strength, a very present help in time of trouble. Yes. Amen. Amen. You don't need to go. You need to stay at home tomorrow. You need to go to church yes. and hear a word from the Lord to get you from your stuckness. Yes. Amen. You need revelation. Somebody say revelation. revelation. Amen. Amen. Because there are some situations that helps us with, amen, and that's God's revelation yeah, yeah. from our situation. Yeah. Amen. And, and, and because if you don't move from your situation, it will move you to a place of frustration. Amen. And, 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 and once you get to God's revelation, you need to understand uh, uh, the second thing that's going to help you to move, amen, is God's duration. He said, he said now you've been here yeah. long, long enough. Yeah. How long are you going to cry? Yeah. Amen. Amen. How long are you going to mourn? Yeah, yeah. Amen. That there comes a time, amen, that, that, that because of the duration, you know, none of us and, 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 and let me remind you that your hair getting gray up, unless you use some dark and lovely. Your skin is getting wrinkled, unless you use some oil of delay, I mean Olay. Amen. Yeah, I got to say it, amen. It used to be a Coke bottle. Now you're a two liter. <laughs> time, somebody say time, time. bring about a change. Yeah. Amen. I mean, things are, you, things are changing, and, and, and you, can, you can look in the mirror all you want and say, mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? Mirror say, it used to be you. But ye ain't you no more because, because time brings about a change. Whatever you need to do, you need to do it right now. Amen. Tell somebody you love them. Tell somebody you care. Do it now. Don't wait. The brother said, hey, hey, if, you know, we need to get in a hurry. Amen. And, and, and let these young people know, amen, that, amen, you don't have to be old to die. 
You need to do like Jamar. You need to you need to find the Lord while He may be found. Come to Him while He is near. Amen. 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 Get get your master card, and not just your membership card. Amen. Amen. You see, see a master card is different from a membership card. Amen. See, membership, amen, you know, when you go to the church, you want to be a member of that church, amen. But, but see, membership, the problem I have with membership, amen, I don't care what church you go to, amen, amen. Lord can save you right where you are. But membership breeds, amen, competition. Amen, amen, amen. If you know the master, amen, it breeds cooperation. And that's why it bothers me with some of these folks, amen, that glory in that membership. Amen. Some of us, amen, going to bust hell wide open thinking we can get to heaven based on our membership. Amen. You can find Jesus. Amen. Sweeping the flow in your living room. Amen. Amen. Why are you washing dishes? See, some people only say amen at that church. Because they got a membership card. Some people say, sing, amen. Some people say, our choir better than your choir, amen. Those are folks that got a membership card, yeah. amen. My preacher preached better than your preacher, amen. That's, that's church talk, amen, amen. They, they got a membership card. But what you need is like Judge Marcus had, you need a master card. You don't need no organ to shout. You don't need, amen, Jamarcus mama to sing to shout. Amen, amen. You can shout, amen, in your car. Amen, you can shout putting a dollar gas at Chevron. You can shout, amen, at Kroger's. Amen. Anybody got a master card? Anybody know the master? Anybody know that, amen, whatever he says makes everything all right? Trust in the Lord. With all thine heart, and lean not to your own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he will direct your path. Anybody know the master? Anybody don't mind saying amen? amen. I know I'm not, amen. I know you're not at your church. I know I'm not your pastor, amen. But if you know Jesus, can somebody shout hallelujah one time, two times, three times? If you got a master card. Amen, Brother Grant and Sister Grant, amen, taught, amen, Jamarcus, that it's about the master. Yeah. I'm bringing you to a warrant. I'm, 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 I'm going to put you on the usher board, but that can't save you. Go you got to know Jesus for the part of your sins. Yeah. You got to know, amen, that he's the lily of the valley, the bright and the morning star. Yeah. It is his revelation. Yeah. And understand, Jabarcus, amen, you don't have to get old, amen, to die. You can die young. Yeah. So I need to put Jesus' word in you now. Go ahead. Can I have a witness? Yeah. Because none of us know how long. Uh. But I guarantee you, church and grand family, we will be here again. Go ahead. Mama say, keep on saying good morning. Yeah. Hair getting gray, steps getting slower. I it's getting dimmer. Amen. Duration will let you know. Amen. You can't stay at this mountain forever. Amen. Because God got all something for all of us to do. Go ahead. Amen. The old black preacher say, do you know him? Uh, Have you tried him? Yeah. Amen. Jesus said, amen. Work while it is day. Yeah, like for the night is soon going to come yeah. when no man can work. If, if you're going to move from this mountain called death, you need God's revelation. Amen. You need to understand his duration. Amen. Amen. Because you need, we are pilgrims, y'all. Amen. We always on the move. I, I, I preached a sermon about there's a difference between, amen, a movement and a monument. Amen. 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 A lot of us, amen, who've been on 45. Amen. On our way. Amen. Amen. You can be, amen. Do you, now, you don't take 45 to Austin like Grant yeah. does. Amen. You you go, amen. You you go to Dallas, take 45. Amen. 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 Sister Grant take, amen, I guess uh 290 to go to her other church. Amen. To see another pastor. Amen. But if you take 45, amen, you 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 you'll see a statue. Amen. 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 Right before you get to Sam Houston. 
amen, and, and say I'm using this there, amen, and he's in the same spot whether you're going or whether you're coming. He is a monument. Some folks, amen, in life are like monuments. They say I shall not be moved because I'm looking at some of y'all right now. Amen. Nothing I said, nothing Harvest did, nothing Sister Grant did can move you right now. You are a monument. But God want a movement. He was telling Israel, Israel, I didn't make you to be a monument. I met, you, I met you to be a movement, and you got to move from this mountain. Amen. And you just got so much time to stay here. And God said, you've been here long enough. Amen. What's going to help us to move out of our stuckness if it's revelation? Amen. God's duration. Amen. How getting gray steps, step, getting slower. Amen. You need to get in a hurry, be about the Father's business. And last time, amen, you got a destination. Yeah. Amen. Your destination, he said, hey, he said, take, he said, turn you and take your journey. And that's the last thing I want to say that to, to somebody who's in their stuckness, amen, God's revelation will help you move. God's duration will help you move. But we got a destination. Go ahead. This place is not your home. Yeah. And you know what? It's not, it wasn't Marcus, uh, it's home. Yeah. Can I have a witness? Yeah. Amen, I don't care where you live. Uh, Amen, I don't care what kind of car you drive. Amen, I don't care how much money you have in the bank. Yeah. When you leave here, somebody else is going to drive your car. Somebody else is going to live in your house. Yeah. Amen, somebody else is going to sleep in your bed. Yeah. Somebody else is going to have your money. Yeah. And somebody else is going to have your honey. Because we're on the pilgrims, traveling through. Anybody understand that God got a destination for us? Jesus say heaven is a prepared place for prepared people. And he said, let not your heart be troubled. If ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. In other words, I'm not here to stay. And the reason that we're here is because Jamarcus was not here to stay. I know you loved him. I know you cared for him. But I want to let you know that old folks are leaving here. Young folks are leaving here. Because we got a destination. Anybody know Jesus? If you know him, can't you say amen? If you tried him, shout hallelujah. Tell somebody, I'm just passing. I'm just passing. I'm just passing. I'm just passing through. I'm not here to stay. Husband, tell your wife, I'm not here to stay. Grandchildren, tell your uh, children, I'm not here to stay. God is a good God. He's a real God. Anybody know he's real? Jesus is a real thing. Let me end with this little story about an airplane. And on this airplane was a boy scout and a preacher and a politician. And the bad thing about this plane, it was about to go down. And the pilot came on the plane and said, I got some bad news. Number one, the plane is going down. And then number two, there's only two parachutes on this plane. Can I have a witness? And what the politician did, he grabbed, can I have a witness? And put the backpack, amen, on his back. And he said, I'm an important man down here on earth. And he jumped out of the plane. And the preacher told the Boy Scout, don't worry, go ahead and take the last parachute. And the Boy Scout said, well, don't worry, Mr. Preacher, because the politician did not grab no parachute. He grabbed my backpack. Before you take the big jump in life, you need to make sure you got the real thing. Jamarcus, long time ago, right here at Greater St. Matthew, made sure Jesus was the real thing. If you know he's the real thing, won't you wave your hand? Because after a while, by and by, you're gonna have to take the big jump in life. And when you take the big jump in life, you need to make doggone sure that you got the real thing. I heard somebody say that I got Jesus and that's enough. Anybody got it? Anybody?
anybody know him? Anybody know that he died on the hill called Calvary? Stay dead. Friday night. Stay dead. Saturday. But early. Anybody want to shout early? Sunday morning. The real thing. Got up with all power in his hand. Yeah. Yeah. He's helping us. He's helping me. At times, Sister Graham, when I get stuck, situations in life got you to a place where you say, I need God's revelation. And those situations got me so in a place of frustration. That I need to hear somebody say, Reverend Brown, you need to get in a hurry concerning God's duration. Yeah, yeah. And if stagnation got me, I need to understand that at this mountain is not my destination. Yeah. He helps me to keep moving. When mama died, when brother died, when, amen, when grandson gone. He, he helps me. Yeah. I need a word from him. I need to understand his due rage. I need to understand he got a destination for me. Yeah. And if Jamarcus was here, I believe that he would tell y'all, don't get stuck. Go ahead, go ahead. Move mama from this mountain. Move grandma from this mountain. Move sister from this mountain. God got something for you to do. He's, my work down here is done. And if only this situation, if this didn't get your attention, if what happened to Margaret didn't get your attention, I really don't know what will. Get in a hurry move and you will reach your destination as Sister Grant already said if you believe that Jamal is in heaven and you want to see him again that's only one way to get there and Jesus Christ is that way let's thank God for making a way for us to see one another again let's pray Father we thank you we love you, God. Pray for this mother. It's not easy to sit in front of here, this grandmother, this, these friends, family members. If the truth was told, God, we get stuck. And some of us may be stuck for a long time, but we need your word. We need to hear from you. Only you can help us move like nobody else can. You still got a job for us to do and, and a place for us to go. That when this life is over, you got a place for us. Prepared place for prepared people. Thank you for Jamarcus. He, he, was, he wasn't just this mother's son. He wasn't just this grandmother's grandson this sister's brother. He belonged to you first. And you always have a right to reclaim what's yours. So we say thank you. We do not shake our fists at you. But we open our hand and say like Job, the Lord giveth and the Lord has taken away. But I'm still going to go to church and say blessed be the name of the Lord. So we bless your name, God, for giving us such a young man who taught all of us a lesson. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, put your hands together. Amen. For the life of our dear brother, we're going to ask.
Cohen's to come now, and we're going to do the committal. Reverend Peters is going to help us with this. Before we do the committal.